How much did you feel like, and I know you said before that you value every moment in the preseason, but how much did you feel like this team needed an extended run in a preseason game? Yeah, I just, I, I feel like, um, you know, the, the time you're on the field, particularly new play caller, new quarterback, new guy calling it, um, just, you know, different pieces in the huddle. Uh, I think it's important to, to get that time on the field just from that, you know, an operation standpoint. And, um, you know, for me, I feel, I feel good about, you know, where we're at and, um, you know, the, the operation that we had in the two times we were able to, to do it in Buffalo and here tonight. I think that's going to help me moving forward. Is that operation just something that you know when it's good, when you can kind of feel, feel it when it's good? Yeah, I think for me personally, it's always nice. I mean, it's, it's an awkward thing to explain, but like there's just this voice in your ear, right? And so being out there, there's noise, there's moving parts, and you kind of have you know, Frank calling the plays in your ear. Uh, to me, that's, that's the stuff that, that I find value uh, out of this time of the year. And then also feeling the pass rush around you. You know, I think from a quarterback standpoint, um, the work we get in practice is great, but you know, the, you can't replicate being hit and, and them actually getting on you. And um, no matter how long you've played, settling yourself down into that I think is important. And uh, oddly enough, I think getting hit once or twice tonight was probably a good thing. Man, it seemed like earlier in the week, Coach maybe hinted that you guys may play the entire first half. That didn't, you guys didn't work up there quite that long. And with one fewer preseason game, can you talk about how you feel about where the first unit's at? What next two weeks things look like before opening week? I think we're in a good, you know, a good spot. I think we've continued to get better, um, you know, as as the preseason has gone on, which has been good. Um, I think you see that, you know, every day we're on the practice field. There's there's improvements that we're making, um, and then, you know, I I feel like we've got to continue to push that. We've got another week of practice this week, and and then we're really into you know game preparation uh, the following week. So. Uh, I feel like we're in a good spot, uh, but we need to continue to build. And uh, that's going to be the case, you know, for the next five months. You know, we've got to continue to get better as the year goes on. Are there a couple of guys that you've seen really great strides in from first day of practice to where we are today? I think there, there's a handful of guys. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, you talk about some, some of our young players. Um, Alec Pierce, to me, has, has improved a lot. You know, from from the time he came in, I mean, obviously super talented, um, but just you know, his his route discipline, you know, his his ability to you know be crafty with his releases, um, getting more comfortable with press man coverage, you know, I think that improvement has been great. I think another rookie, Jelani Woods, you know, to me is a guy that has has you know day in and day out continued to progress. Uh, he had a really nice catch tonight, you know, shallow cross and kind of got vertical. It's small little things like that that, you know, make a big difference in this league. You know, it's the hit and yardage that you get with run after catch. And uh, I thought that was great to see from Jelani tonight. And I think he's, you know, there's been instances like that throughout training camp that you see him just continuing to improve. What is it about uh, Michael Pittman that you two seem to have built a pretty good relationship on the field pretty quickly? Well, he's a great player, you know, <laughs> that makes it, makes it easier, right, when, when guys are, uh, you know, very, very talented. But he's an incredible worker, you know, and, and I think, I mean, you guys probably know that, haven't been around. It's still new to me, you know, seeing the, the way that he, he, you know, attacks every day, um, the amount of, of time that he puts into it. Uh, and, you know, there's, there's, there's no shortcut to it in this league. You've got, you've got to earn it. And uh, the way he works, you know, makes it easy for a quarterback like me to get on the same page with him. You talk about Alex's okay, route discipline. How, how does that growth help you trust him out on the field? Yeah, I mean, at, at the quarterback position, you know, one of the things I've always said is, you know, you need great decision-making, timing, and accuracy. And, you know, the timing and accuracy is half my part and half theirs. And, uh, you know, they've got to be where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. Um, and, and I think he's really done a good job of, of taking that to heart and, and understanding that it's one thing to be open. It's another thing to be open in the timing of the play, right? So you can either win too early or win too late. Not going to help us. You know, you've got to, you've got to win in the timing of the play. And 
uh, I certainly think you know he's he's picked that up very quickly. Matt, as a 37-year-old veteran quarterback, what do you think when you see a 45-year-old quarterback playing for the other team? I feel young, you know. I, I, I feel I feel young. Um, I've known Tom for a long time, and um, you know, just always impressed, you know, with his consistency, um, his little level of dedication to to taking care of himself, and. Uh, he's still playing at a high level. You know, it's it's amazing. You know, playing against him in division the last couple of years, and then having gone against him uh, at different times throughout my career, he looks he's thrown it as good as he ever has. And uh, to me, that's it, it's incredibly impressive. You had the eleven, last one. You had the eleven yard scramble. Are you going to tell Frank that there needs to be a little bit more QB design on it? I was thinking about it, and then Sam ran for like fifty five or something <laughs> like that. So <laughs> you know, like I know my place. I know my role.